And shortly before 11 o'clock this as Lent begins on the Christian calendar, the fasting month of Ramadan finishes on the Muslim one. And Muslims everywhere celebrate the festival of Eid, as it's called. In Manchester, traditionally, young Muslims have had a boisterous street party continuing well into the night. This year, however, Kasim Afsar of the Muslim Education Council felt there was a need for more emphasis on the message of Islam. Sunday Matters shared the day of the festival with him. Eid for Muslims is, is always special. Um, our main objective is to be submissive to Allah. And in, in this particular case, obviously, my family have come from America for Eid. I haven't seen them for a few years. And, I mean, they've taken time off work and they're spending three, four weeks here with us. After we finish the prayer, usually what happens is that the families go back to the elders. So if your grandmother, your grandfather, the oldest sister, the oldest brother. And the whole idea is to come back home and have this extended breakfast, you know, which is a bit more heavy than your usual breakfast. Salad for now or later on? Uh, no, no, for now, yeah. During this period you've got uh, other people coming into your home, people that you haven't seen, and you're greeting each other, and you all sit down together, and especially for the children. Um, they're looking forward for the money, you see, because on this Eid, uh, a lot of people give money, especially to the young, to their daughters and cousins and, and friends. So how do you want Eid money from me? <laughs> The food that we have on Eid is usually uh, sweet food, traditional food, like we call it sevya in Urdu or Punjabi, and gulab jamuns and jalebis, you know, very, very tasty, but you have to go on a diet after that because it's very sweet. Uh, there's also kebabs and samosas and chicken and, and many other traditional foods. But then again, different cultures have their own traditional foods as well. The Arabs have something different. The Malaysians will have something different. But it's generally all sweet and uh, very sticky. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. As a Muslim, regardless of the venue, the event, where we are, we have to maintain our five daily prayers. And we came back from our our Eid prayer, um, after we'd eaten, it was close to 1.30, so the Zohr prayer was, it was time for Zohr, so the brothers got together and we prayed the Zohr. We will not miss it. I mean, even if we're driving down the motorway and the time's coming up, we'll stop and uh, we will pray. Muslim month starts with the new moon. When the moon is new, its first day, it's so small that it's very difficult to see it. It's just like a hairline in the horizon. In Muslim country, countries, there are committees called the moon committees, and they do sight the moons. So some might sight it one day, others might not be lucky, and that's why you see the difference sometimes within the Eid celebrations. God, God lets us have a day called Eid, and, that, and he lets us celebrate that. Ramadan has finished, we can eat and all. So it's like Christmas. Christmas. We, we have get presents. and everything, we get presents. It's like your Christmas. It's Christmas to us. <laughs> We're from Halifax. Halifax, we've come here to celebrate our Christmas. Eid! Eid! Eid, Eid sorry, That's not it. Christmas, Eid. It's fun, but I think that it should be treated as religious, not as um, treated as the Western way, which is like your uh, equivalent to your Christmas. They're out there celebrating, there's music, etc., etc., which, I, from my opinion, I don't think that should be done. The festival came about um, through our liaise with the police about eight, nine months ago. I had a chat with one of the. Um, Liaise officers, and if you're saying that we'd like to do some sort of function on Wimsor Road that could harmonize 
bring everybody together. I mean, there has been problems in the past because some of the youth get a bit too excited and um, I think the police were finding this a problem. So we felt that being Muslims and being from Manchester, it's our duty to work with the police and with the indigenous population to arrange something that would benefit everybody. <laughs> I think it's a lot better than what it used to be. It's much more controlled. People are learning something. So they just come and play music. I think it's very good, good yeah. actually. Yeah, well, they cool. bug you sometimes, but yeah, yeah, rather yeah, than that, but yeah. it's good. It was something that we tried. We didn't know if it would work. We were very apprehensive. 40 people got together, everybody, and alhamdulillah, you can see yourself that people are enjoying themselves. We've had, I've just had a conversation with the police, and they said they've not had one inch of trouble. Everybody's really enjoyed it. They didn't expect families, they've got families out, they've got young girls out, all dressed nicely. The weather's a bit cold, I've got my sheepskin on, but it's been fantastic. The Festival of Eid at Wilmslow Road in Manchester last Tuesday. Those of you who were watching earlier and heard Dickie Bird might like to know that England have lost the Test.